we are going to be making this cute little paper heart ornament. It's a little double heart. And this is so easy. You can make tons of these in a really short amount of time. And it's a great project to do with your kids. You can make it um, pretty much any size you want. You can make them really large or really small. And um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about how to change the size in a little bit. So let's get started. To do this project, you're going to need five strips of pattern paper that are all the same width. I have chosen three quarters of an inch, and that is going to be kind of the depth of your finished ornament. You can make that um, thinner, or you can make it wider, however you want your finished ornament to look. And the dimensions I have chosen for my strips are six inches, four and a half inches, and three inches. And you can change the size. It'll change the size of your overall heart. My formula that I like to use for these is whatever my longest strip is going to end up being, my smallest strip is half of that length. So I have six and three. And then um, I like it about, my, my middle section to be about an inch, um, a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, smaller than my largest strip. So I tried this with six and five and I wanted the center heart a little bit smaller so I made it four and a half. So um, start by cutting up strips of just plain computer paper or scrap paper, construction paper, whatever, and just kind of play with it a little bit. But these for today, for the heart that I'm going to show you today, these are six, four and a half, and three. And we're also going to be using for this project some double-sided tape. You can use plain tape runner adhesive. I am using score tape today because it's easier. Um, and this is quarter inch score tape, a hole punch, and a stapler. I'm using my tiny attacher. You can use just your regular desk stapler. I like the tiny attacher because it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit more subtle. Now for this project, I would recommend using a double-sided paper because as you can see on my finished one here, you've got the outside paper, but then you can also see the inside. So you could, if your paper is not double-sided, you could ink the, the wrong side of it just to add a little bit of color in there, or you could leave it white if that's the color, that's the look that you're looking for. But I would choose personally a double-sided paper. And you're going to start with all of your strips flipped over so that the wrong side is facing you. So I've gone ahead and put my adhesive on all of my strips and notice it is on the wrong side or what's going to be the inside um, of my heart. And once you get on to where to put the adhesive, um, it becomes a lot less confusing. It's a little bit tricky to kind of get onto it at first, but on your longest strips, so these are my six inch strips, you're going to put it at um, both ends and get it pretty close to the end of the paper. On your middle size strip, you're just going to put a little strip on one end. And then on your smallest strip, you're going to put a strip at the bottom. And then you're going to put a strip approximately one inch down from the top. And now this strip is a little bit different because you're actually going to put the adhesive in the exact same places on the front as well as the back. So here, on just like on all the other ones, we put it on the wrong side of the paper. Here I've got it on the wrong side of the paper, and now I'm going to do the same thing on the right side, or what's going to be the outside of our heart. On the bottom, and then I'll line it up on my grid mat, and put a piece about one inch down from the top, just like that. So now we have I've got a little bit hanging over here. So we have two strips of tape on the right side and the wrong side of our smallest strip, whereas on our other four, we only have it on the wrong side of the paper. One thing that I like to do before I start putting my heart together is this is going to be the top, the hanger portion of our ornament. So I like to punch that hole before I start putting the heart together, just because it's a little bit easier to line it up and you don't have to worry about the rest of the heart getting in the way. So I'm just going to punch a hole in the top 
and now we're ready to start putting this together. So I'm starting with my smallest piece, and this is going to be the middle of our heart. And it doesn't matter which side you start with, whether it's the wrong side of the paper or the right side of the paper. And I'm just going to start by removing the backing from the adhesive. And now this is important. You're going to take your longest piece next. And I'm going to line this piece up with the bottom where the adhesive is. Okay, line up the sides the best that you can and press that down. And now you're going to take the backing off of the bottom adhesive only. And you're going to take one of your middle size strips and again with the adhesive at the bottom, remember there's no adhesive at the top of this. And notice how my wrong side is always facing towards me. I'm going to take the adhesive at the bottom and line that up the best that I can. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this over and now you can see that this is the right side is facing me but as I'm layering I'm going to continue to put the wrong side facing towards me on this side of the heart. So again we'll take both of the adhesive backings off. Take our longest piece and line that up. And then the middle size piece with the adhesive at the bottom. So with the exception of the middle piece um, and this top piece here, just remember you're sandwiching all the adhesive at the bottom and you want the wrong side up. Okay. So now it looks like this and we've got all of our pieces put together. Now we're going to remove the adhesive. We'll go one side at a time. I'm going to remove the adhesive from the bottom. And this is when you can kind of see it starts looking like a heart. So I'm going to take this side here and fold it, line up my bottom edges, and squash that down. Now you can see we've kind of got that heart forming. Take off this adhesive and take this edge and fold it down, line it up with the bottom, and squish that adhesive together. And now you can see we've got the first half of our heart. And you can also see because we put this adhesive an inch down from the top of the middle piece, as this is hanging, gravity is not going to squash that heart all the way down. It's going to keep it stuck down right there. So it'll stay in that nice curve. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now even though this is score tape, I have experimented with a lot of these and believe it or not over time that, that score tape does not stay stuck. It will pop off. So I'm just going to take my tiny attacher and I'm going to line it up. And staple and you can see how that staple because I'm using the tiny attacher is really really super subtle so thank you for joining me today have a great day I'll see you tomorrow bye bye here's one more fun idea to do with these hearts I made a whole bunch of them fairly small these are probably about uh, two two and a half inches and I start some baker's twine uh, using some little beads and knots in between them. And I used uh, coordinating pattern papers from a collection. And you get a really fun banner to put on your tree or here I put it on my mantle. Um, and it's just a really cute way to decorate for the holidays. So think about using this um, ornament for uh, lots of other things other than just a standalone ornament on your tree.